How's everyone doing? Today I have a Blu-ray collection update with six pickups right here. And if you've seen any of these, definitely let me know what you think of them. And let me know which one of these is your favorite. Now, there's two I haven't seen. And then um, of these six, five are 4K Ultra HD releases. The first one I haven't seen, it is a series. It's Halo Season 1. Let me know if you ever played Halo. And let me know what your favorite video game of all time is. I never played Halo. Um, I was really more into like the basketball games and like some of the, you know, Mortal Kombat games and stuff like that. Uh, and then around this time, you know, I this was like, you know, college for me when this came out, I think. And uh, some of my friends, um, you know, played. So I remember in my fraternity house, a bunch of people would play Halo and stuff. Uh, but I was more into like NBA uh, or was it NBA Street? I think it was at the time where you could be like an alien. You can be like a Yeti, all kinds of different crazy stuff. But that's what I played all the time. Uh, and people play that as well. But yeah, Halo was super popular, and I guess it's still popular now. Now, I haven't seen the series. I didn't play the video game, but I'm super interested in this series because I love sci-fi, and this looks like it's going to be like a sci-fi action. And it sounds really interesting. Uh, the Master Chief character, obviously, I know that character. Uh, he's cybernetically enhanced. Uh, he's a Spartan super soldier. I didn't know he was cybernetically enhanced, but he has to fight off uh, some aliens, and you know, it's you know, futuristic worlds, uh, and the effects here look awesome. So I'm definitely excited for this one. It has over five hours of special features and seven art cards in here too, which I'll go ahead and show you. This is a Paramount CBS release. And here are the art cards. Uh, these are all sealed up right now. Uh, I'll do maybe an unboxing for this actually, but just to give you a quick overview and prop to unboxing, uh, it's got, you know, the liner notes right there, the episodes on there. Uh, episode guide and then a swing tray so a really good release in that regard um, I love the way that it's set up um, so very simplistic straightforward but it works that's how I feel like these seasons uh, should be uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out because again I like sci-fi and this looks like it's gonna be a good mixture of the sci-fi elements and action um, and again the visuals look stunning from what I've seen so excited for that one and then next up is uh, another Paramount release. Uh, this is Elvis Blue Hawaii from 1961. Uh, musical, romance. Uh, of course, the girls are fighting over Elvis. Let me know what your favorite Elvis song is and your favorite Elvis movie for that matter. Um, Wild in the Country is one of my favorites from him. It's a dramatic role, not his over-the-top musical romance, although there is you know, music in there, romance in there, of course, but... Uh, I liked it was more of the dramatic role uh, that I would have liked to see more from Elvis. Uh, but this one was a Grammy nominated album in here uh, with totaling 20 weeks on uh, number one Billboard 200. Uh, so that is wild. Uh, but this was, I think, the first of three Elvis movies in Hawaii, too. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more special features on here. There's a commentary from a historian, uh, a photo scrapbook, and then the trailer. But... Um, these Paramount Presents lines are amazing to me. I'm happy that they're having the 4K releases. I know some people are upset that they're, you know, they're getting the re-releases. You know, a year or two ago, you got the Blu-ray, and now they're getting the 4K. But that's just the way that these companies and studios work. Um, that's just the business model for it. And we should be happy that we're getting the best. And you don't have to buy every release. Buy the ones that you really like uh, and double dip. I mean, I'm, horror is my favorite genre by far. And I feel like horror and Disney really drive the physical media market. And there's been so many different, obviously Disney, they tons of different re-releases, but for horror too, how many different editions of Halloween and Evil Dead have there been? I feel like every year we get one, you know, a different slip cover, different artwork, a steel book, whatever the case may be, a new transfer. Um, so that's just how it is. That's the business model. We should be used to it by now for physical media collectors. Uh, and I, again, I'm happy that the Paramount Presents line is coming to the 4K. And look at that, I love the gatefold slip covers for that with the original poster artwork. And then... You know, you get a synopsis on the back and the clear case. You're getting digital copies now. Uh, put that off to the side. And then you get the 4K and then the Blu-ray. And then you get interior artwork as well, which I love that. And usually there's like a, a quote in there too, which is the case. So very vibrant looking. Uh, I haven't seen this one before. I've seen clips of it. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this one out, and I'm glad that I waited on this one and got the, the 4K for it. So, uh, I, my uncle was a really big Elvis fan, so 
Um, I always am kind of interested and drawn to uh, Elvis movies and stuff like that because it makes me think of my uh, my uncle. So um, he was a big fan, modeled his look after Elvis. Uh, he used to have a, a painting of Elvis too, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so definitely excited for checking that one out. And then next up, we've got the four uh, Christmas 4K releases from Warner Brothers, which is super exciting to me. Uh, Christmas Story from Bob Clark. Uh, he did two of the greatest Christmas movies ever, and they couldn't be more uh, opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, Christmas Story and then Black Christmas, one of the greatest horror movies ever, kind of starting the slasher genre, in fact. Uh, that ending shot just always creeped me out. Uh, but this is a classic to me. It used to, uh, I think it would run at least, I always mix it up, was it TNT or TBS that would run consecutively for 24 hours on Christmas Day? And then I think it was like two channels at one point. Um, but I love this one. I'm actually looking forward to the new one. Uh, I think it's like a HBO Max um, exclusive for when it first comes out. And it's, you know, it's him grown up. But it actually looked better than I was expecting. Um, so it looks like it's going to be pulling at the hard strings, a lot of different uh, range of emotions, but still having the nostalgia for the original too, but also making its own and grounded in kind of reality of him as an adult and his friends as an adult. Uh, you know, it just, it, it's cool to see some of the same characters there and the same actors and stuff. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to that one. It looks like it's not a cash grab. It looks like it's actually going to have some heart and I'm excited for that one. Uh, and this, I can't wait to check all these out in 4k. These are clat. Well, there's one I don't love, but this is actually, I want to revisit because I remember liking parts of it, but not liking other aspects. Uh, but this one is an absolute classic one that I adore and love. Let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is. My favorite is It's a Wonderful Life. It is the quintessential Christmas movie for me. Frank Capra's classic, Jimmy Stewart, Donna Reed, Lionel Barrymore. Uh, the cast was incredible. Everybody played their roles just perfectly. It's an inspirational movie. I love the way that it's shot. It's my third favorite movie of all time. I just love everything about it. So many great uh, moments and scenes and quotable lines in there. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. That's just one. There's so many. But I uh, love that one so much. Uh, but this would be, uh, I feel like this is, I, I, I think this is number two. And then this would be number three. Uh, but let me know your favorite Christmas movie. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase in here. Uh, just an all-time classic. I love that shot too. But another all-time classic. Hilarious. All, so many great uh, moments in here and quotable lines and great scenes. Let me know what your favorite uh, scene and line and for both of these are. They're just iconic to me. But ah, oh, that, that is actually a great shot right there. Uh, and I love the heck out of this one. And um, this one right here is directed by uh, Jeremiah uh, Chekic, who also did uh, directed Benny and June. I believe he did a lot of like TV work and stuff too. Um, but there's so many great moments in this one. And I, I can't wait to revisit this one uh, in 4K. Just, oh gosh, the, the neighbor's right there. <laughs> Randy Quaid's character and what he says full uh just I love it so happy to uh, have these on 4k great timing for Warner Brothers too right around the holidays for it smart uh next up is Elf and this is directed by John Favreau and I always think like you know swingers that's where I always think of but he's come a long way directed the Iron Man 1 and 2 a uh, chef is actually a really good one from John Favreau chef I think is underrated really good um, and he's done other stuff too, uh, the, uh, recent Lion King movie, uh, but he's just come a long way. He's huge in the Marvel, big time producer, but to think that, you know, I just, Swingers from that role to, you know, and then I think of the first movie he ever directed was like, uh, the sequel to Swingers, which was made, uh, but just, he's come a long way is what I'm saying. And, uh, he directed Elf, which is another, this one grew on me. I didn't love it when I first watched it. Uh, when I was younger, but now I think it, it is just ridiculous, over the top, goofy. Bob Newhart's awesome in here. Uh, just everybody, so many great um, uh, performances and acting in here and just so many recognizable people. Like the list is just uh, ridiculous in here. Zoe Deschanel, uh, Mary Steenberg and James Caan, um, Bob Newhart, uh, Edward Asner, so many people. And it is incredible. Uh, just a super fun, ridiculous time. Just thinking about it, the, the stuff that he eats, just everything that he says. Uh, it's just a real fish out of water, you know, taking him from, uh, you know, the North Pole to New York City to find his dad. It is absurd. And uh, just a fun time with this one, though. 
it, again, this one, I when I first watched it when I was younger, I didn't love it, but now I absolutely love it. Um, I think I, these ones have more nostalgia for me, though. Uh, but Elf is a fun time. It's ridiculous. It's a really goofy, wild one. Next up is Polar Express. This is the one that I don't uh, love. I remember liking elements of it, but also not liking elements of it. Directed by uh, Robert Zemeckis. Let me know what your favorite Robert Zemeckis film is. He's directed so many films. Uh, the Back to the Future movies, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Castaway, which needs a 4K release, Contact, which I would love to see get a 4K release. Um, he also directed Death Becomes Her, What Lies Beneath, and of course, Forrest Gump. Uh, he also did uh, Used Cars, Flight with Denzel recently and John Goodman, which actually really uh, enjoyed Denzel's performance. I think a little bit more than the movie. Uh, Kelly Riley's in there too, but really did enjoy that one overall. Uh, there's a few movies where I think of her like, I, the lead performances might be a little bit better than the movie, but I still enjoy it. Uh, he also directed um, uh, the Jim Carrey CGI uh, Christmas Carol movie. Uh, so he's done a few different, uh, you know, CG Christmas movies. So many great movies. I, I just, there's too many to name. Uh, but Polar Express to me, that, that CGI, uh, what do they call that? Uh, the, the valley or whatever that is. The kind of like the creepy look with the CGI. Um, but yeah, I don't, I just didn't love it. Yeah, the little kids going to the North Pole. Uh, I like, you know, the elements there, the storyline, um, you know, the Christmas spirit, friendship, stuff like that. Uh, that, you know, all those elements here that really work. Uh, but I don't know, there's elements here that just don't work for me too. I saw it, uh, I only saw it once and I saw it a while ago now. So I am going to revisit it and give it another chance. Uh, but I know a lot of people love this one. Uh, I think part of it again was the CGI and then just certain elements just didn't work for me, but from what I can recall, but uh, I'm looking forward to revisiting, giving another shot. Cause I feel like sometimes your tastes change and cultivate, uh, but there we go. Those are the six pickups right there, five of which are 4K Ultra HD releases. And again, I'm really happy that we're getting, uh, you know, Paramount Presents line on uh, 4K. They have so many great releases. I hope they continue to uh, hit up their library and release more in 4K. Uh, and then these Christmas classics right here. Uh, again, I wasn't the biggest fan, but I know a lot of people love this one and I do want to revisit it. Uh, but these other three are just undeniable classics. Uh, and then Halo, again, I'm, I'm really actually excited for this one. Can't wait to check it out. Uh, and, you know, I never played the video games, but, you know, uh, I'm excited for the storyline of it and the uh, the visuals and everything look incredible. So um, some great releases right here. Let me know what you think of them, if you've seen them. And uh, let me know what your favorite is from these. Leave me those comments down below. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.